All right, we're back. Now we're gonna do the heating part. Uh, we did all the uh, necessary call for RDG fan turned on. We checked the uh, RDG wire for cooling, and then uh, we isolated the black wires for your high speed, and we got our amperage on it. Now we're gonna move on to our uh, to our furnace, and uh, I don't know if you guys can see that real good. But like I said, right here we already jumped it from R to W. So the sequence of operation is when we call for heat, the inducer draft motor energizes, creates uh, air pressure coming in to your uh, pressure switch. And behind here it will build up air pressure which pushes a diaphragm up that uh, makes the contacts close because this is normally open when you're not calling for uh, uh, for heating so once the contact contacts close improves it will then 24 volts will be will then go to your um, ignition control unit up here and it will feed the 24 volts from here and then it will feed 24 volts from your uh, igniter which is this blue wire right here um, this will feed the uh, the igniter um, it will feed 24 volts uh, coming from your um, from the ignition module to your 24 volts on your gas valve your 24 volt coil so once that 24 volt coil energized from your gas valve it will open the valve since flammable gas going up here to your gas burner and then the igniter will light it and there's also a, a sensor flame sensor on this one also so that's the sequence of operation you know um, like I said the uh, rollout switches are your safety switches like it's a safety switch where you know flames roll out here or whatever wherever it's gonna sense it it's gonna cut the power off out of your gas valve because uh, your rollout switches, your main limit switch or high limit switch are wired in series and that piece of 24 volts coming from your um, Molex plug right here from your fan control board and then once the pressure switch uh, proves the contacts will close and then the 24 volts will travel from here and then will energize your ignition module up here which is this one you will feed the 24 volts right there which then uh, feeds the uh, the gas valve it's 24 volts on the um, uh, 24 volt coil on your gas valve so yeah so here we go we're gonna do a sequence of operation like I said inducer draft motor fires up air pressure goes to your uh, pressure switch contacts will close this also uh, close at point I believe point 0.65 water column and then feeds 24 volts of your module ignition module goes to the 24 volts of your um, fires up your igniter from here from your ignition module energizes your uh, igniter uh, energizes your 24 volt coil on your uh, gas valve opens up the valve and then gas will flow, flow through your burners and the igniter will light it up so we'll see here we go we're gonna do a uh, uh, call for heat and see if the burners go we're gonna do so we're gonna remove all this these are all like wire terminals I made so I'm gonna remove all this stuff it's gonna get hot up there let's move our meter over here put it over here on this that way you guys have a clear view of uh, what's gonna happen so I'm not gonna use my uh, clamp on the door because we're gonna do it real quick so just want to make sure the sequence uh, is in order as far as the, uh, the uh, sequence operation as far as call for heating all right, make sure there's no obstructions in there. Nothing's gonna cause catch on fire. So here we go. We're gonna call for heat. R to W on our uh, low voltage uh, terminal board coming from your um, thermostat. So all right, here we go. Inducer draft motor kicks. 
pressure switch closed, ignition module energized, igniter energized, gas valve. There you go, there's your flame. operation as far as uh, heating goes um, it's working uh, real good so I also asked the uh, owner if I can videotape this so that way uh, I can show it to them you know like I said I'll work on referrals this is what I do so the blower motor turns on once that heat exchanger uh, heats up the blower motor turns on you know, your limits uh, sense that also, so yeah, that'd be it. I'm gonna shut it off, and um, we're good to go on this one. And what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna test that one out also. But we're gonna do the same procedure as we did on this one. So I just uh, want to make a little short video, you know, maybe long video, I guess. Um, just you know, maybe I can help somebody out there. You know, I mean. Uh, like I said, you guys can post a comment um, if I did everything right, you know. And if there's something I missed, just post a comment, you know. Like I said, this is, I'm still learning all this stuff, you know. I'm doing this uh, as far as uh, service calls. Uh, I go by referrals because every time I do a residential home, I leave my business card or something because... You know, uh, it's hard to uh, find a job right now, like working for a company, because you know they're looking for a three to five years experience. So I'm learning as much as I can on my own. So watching uh, YouTube uh, videos of uh, HVAC and uh, Dr. Z, Fritz, uh, Talon Eight Seven Five, Stank, um, Dizzy Dallas. You know, I watch this guy's. Uh, practically uh, every time I go on my computer to see you know what else can I do out there you know to help me out to help me improve as a you know uh, help me improve to become a better tech so what we're gonna do right now is we checked everything and it worked out pretty good so we're gonna unhook this our jumper and uh, so I'm gonna say this one is awesome it's working great so we're gonna do we're gonna move we're gonna move here and this is what the other one looks like fan control board said um there's your uh single run capacitor transfer it's about the same thing we're gonna do with the other one the rollout switches and main limit and uh, or high limit switch this one also has a ignition module so we're gonna be doing the same steps and stuff like that and um, after this uh, we'll probably open up the uh, the evaporator check and see what it looks like because the uh, filter the return uh, air filter for the uh, upstairs and downstairs on the return lines they were really dirty so I just want to see what the uh, condition of the evaporator coils are so um for the meantime like i say i'm gonna do a video on that too and i'm gonna do a video on uh doing uh preventive maintenance on the condensing unit like i said this uh home is two story three thousand square feet plus uh two air handlers uh, this one's uh let's see here Let me get my camera in there this one right here is uh for the downstairs and the one we worked on is for uh, upstairs so we're gonna do the same uh, process so like I said I'll do uh, more videos much as I can you know like I said post a comment you know if I did it something wrong you know try to correct it for me you guys to have a uh, like years of experience and stuff so hope you guys like the video and uh, hopefully it will help you know anybody out there again uh, thank you for watching have a good day. Bye. Alright guys. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check the, uh, the uh, amp draw on our red wire for your uh, low voltage. Uh, no, for your uh, medium low when you call for heat. So we're going to isolate the blue wire right here. 
guys can see. I'm gonna isolate that and then we're gonna see uh, what kind of amps we're gonna get when the uh, blower motor fires up. So, here she comes. So we're getting about 4.7, which is good. So, like I said, sequence operation, blower motor works, and that should be it.